Hey everybody, it's me. And uh, you know me as the Smarties Lyft driver um, with stories from the road. I met a cool kid the other day. His name is Jesus. And uh, I'm studying to be a teacher. I'm very excited about the opportunity. And um, so he asked me a question that, and a lot of people have asked me this question. I've never really told any stories about it because I try and keep things positive about how special the millennials are being the shameless uh, cheerleader for that entire generation. But So he said, he goes, what was one of your worst rides? And um, I thought about it, and there's one that I actually enjoyed. And so, at any rate, uh, I was east of Los Angeles, and I had picked somebody up, and on my way back, oftentimes I'll just turn the thing off and hustle to where I want to be. And this time I didn't, and all of a sudden it, it you know, popped up a ride, go pick up so-and-so. And, um, and so I pulled in, pulled up to so-and-so's house, and... Um, and he came out, all black, and probably, you know, 26 years old, um, six foot two, a soft 200. I mean, a soft 200 in that um, want to be bad looking, but mm, the body not, you know, kind of a little tummy there. And, but, um, but at any rate, um, so gets in the car. I look at him. I always do my thing in the beginning. Hey, I always start my ride by offering a smarty. And um, in and all of a sudden, I mean, and I just reached over and put them in his area, not in his face, not anywhere near him. But I always do it the same way, and no one's ever had a problem. But all of a sudden, and I apologize for what I'm about to say, was get those effing, and, but use the word, out of my fucking face. And I stopped, I mean, I mean, I'm just sitting there, and I stared at him, and I like looking at him, and all of a sudden I go, touchy, huh? And turned slowly back and I thought, you know what, maybe I should just stop the ride now and just tell him, you know, maybe call somebody else. This isn't going to work. And then all of a sudden I smiled and I thought, it's cold, windows open to greet him. And I thought, no, it's about a $15 ride and I'll torture him. So the ride starts, I start driving, windows open, it's 50 degrees out. We're driving, get on the freeway, I'm doing 60 on the freeway. All I hear is, close a window. Turned up the radio a little bit louder, and I can do it from the hand, you know, from the steering wheel, which was kind of fun. And I, you know, turned up a little bit louder and a little bit louder. Close the window! Just didn't even ignore him, but just kept driving. And, um, you know, about 14 minutes later or whatever it was, and there was a little bit of a surge going, so it was going to be a $15 ride. I drop him downtown L.A. at a place called Dos, no, what was it, Malo. And apparently he's a bouncer. Badass. But, um... So he gets out of the car, the window's still open, and it was cold. I had the heat on me, it was great. But um, I'm just grinning, and get out of the car, he jumps out of the car, and as he gets out of the car and starts to close, I start to cruise away, and now he's alongside the car going, turn off the ride, turn off the ride, turn off the ride. And I'm just kind of waving, yep, yep, and I just kept driving. And I did turn off the ride before I got anywhere, but pulled around the corner, and I did stop. And I sent an email to Lyft telling them about the experience. And I told them everything I did, including the torture, and um, uh, which was kind of fun. But, um, you know, explaining that this guy, really, this isn't what the service was created for. And his, you know, he should be using like a skateboard kind of a thing. But um, um, I don't know. It, to this day, it just kind of makes me smile that, you know, sometimes people get what they kind of reap, you reap what you sow. And, um, I don't know, uh, Lyft sent me back a thing saying, Hey, thanks for telling us. You know, I, we agree that had that been on a Lyft line with, you know, other people in the car, completely inappropriate. And we'll watch his, uh, just, uh, ratings very closely. And, um, and you know, if we get any other complaints, we'd obviously take him off the platform. So at any rate, Jesus, that one was for you. And there's another one that I've got to tell in the not too distant future that probably the hardest, I've, well, it's the hardest I've ever laughed as a Lyft driver. And that's the tease, and that'll come soon. So thank y'all. Um, I've got to do another one about uh, Ryan DiNardo, which was pretty cool. So hopefully I can get back to that in a little while. Make it a great night. Thanks.